Hello everyone, today we are going to start a new course on Oracle Integration Cloud that is OIC and first we'll discuss some basic concepts in OIC then we'll move to create our first integration in OIC. So let's start. Oracle Integration Cloud or OIC is a platform as a service which is PaaS and it is a cloud-based platform that simplifies integrating applications, data, and processes across various environments that can be on-premises or in the cloud. It helps organizations to automate workflows and streamline business processes. YC provides three services, which are ICS, VVCS, and PCS. So what is ICS? So ICS is Integration Cloud Service, which focuses on connecting application, both on on-premises and in the cloud, enabling data exchange and integration so in our course we focus on the integration cloud service only then we have vvcs which is visual builder cloud service that provides a visual browser based environment for rapidly creating and deploying web and mobile applications with minimal coding then we have pcs which is process cloud service it is designed for automating and managing business processes in the cloud allowing users to design automate and manage workflows and oic runs on top of oci that is oracle cloud infrastructure now what are the basic components in ics that we need to know before creating an integrations so first thing is obviously integrations so integration are the core service in ICS that allows you to connect different application processes and systems. And in integration, we use connections and the connection is created based on the adapters. So what is adapters? So adapters are pre-built connectors that facilitate communication between OIC and various systems, including SaaS application, on-premises system and databases. Some example are Oracle ERP Cloud Adapter, REST Adapter, and ATP Adapter. What is connection? Connection are based on adapters and define the specific details required to interact with a particular instance of an application. Now we'll create our first integration where we'll send any name as a request and we'll get the greeting message including that name as a response so we have already logged in in our yc instance now we have to go to design and then you can see integration connections are there so first of all we have to create a rest connection then using that connection we'll create our integration so i'll click on connection then i'll click on create and here we have to search one rest adapter so i'll search with rest and you can see this is the rest adapter so using this rest adapter will create our connection so we have to provide one connection name that i will put rest 001 and we have to choose one role now here you can see role can be trigger invoke or both trigger and invoke so in if you want to create this connection as a source then you can choose trigger if you want to create this connection as target then you can choose invoke so here we want to send the request to integration from this connection so that is why we are choosing trigger then we'll create this connection and you can see connection is created successfully now you can test the connection connection tested successfully as well now using this connection we'll create our integration we'll save this go to integrations and here we'll create our first integration and here you can see integration can be different type application integration schedule integration or event based so we'll use this application integration so We'll put one name for the integration like INTG001 
and then I'll click on create. Now in this integration, I'll choose the connection that we have already created that is race 001. Now we have to configure this and we have to first provide some name for this trigger. So I'll provide as request and then uh, we have to provide some endpoint. So I'll so you have to provide the endpoint like this slash then you can put any name like I'll put greetings and the the rest operation you need to put here whether it is get post or put so here I will provide post as we'll send the data then we have to configure the request and response payload so for this you have to check this checkbox like configure the request payload and configure the endpoint to receive the response now we can continue after that so this is the uh, request payload so in the request payload we want to just uh, pass some name in a uh, json format so that we have to configure here so i'll go to inline and here we have to provide the json request payload so i'll write name and i'll put this blank so basically here we have to provide our name while we run this integration now i'll continue continue and then we have to configure the response as well so in a response what do we want that we want to configure in a json so i'll write greetings so here we'll get the response So you have to use the quotation here. Now continue. So this is done. We'll finish this. We'll save this. Now uh, we'll change the layout of this integration from vertical to horizontal by clicking this horizontal option and here you can see mapping is there so in the mapping we have to uh, like map the request and response so we'll edit this and this is the request wrapper so from the request we'll pass the value of name and in the response wrapper we can see greetings so what do we want uh, as a response that we have to configure here so i'll click on this and click on create target node i'll enable this and here we have to write our message so first we'll use a con concat function here so I have to search concat so this is the concat function and here I will write hello so hello then space and we have to provide the name here after the comma not here after the comma we have to provide the name and then comma and then we can write welcome to YC so this is our greeting message and now we'll save this so this is done now can validate it 
so everything is fine so we'll save you can see one error is there we have to fix this error so this error is like uh, for tracking purpose we have to add one business identifier so from the request wrapper I can put anything here like from the name I can put the name here as a tracking identifier then you can save and now you can see the error is gone now our integration is done so after the integration is created we have to activate the integration then we can run it so we'll first activate so once you activate you can find different modes are there production audit or debug in debug if you if you activate the integration in a debug mode then you can uh, you can track all the activities within the integration so we'll use the debug and we'll activate now we'll run this so run so you can see this is the integration and name and this is our endpoint and we'll go to body now in the body you can see here we can pass our name so I'll pass any name here like Rohit and I'll just click on run So it is completed now if you go down as a response you can see this is the response so greetings equal to hello Rohit welcome to YC so this is the response we are getting successfully and if you refresh it and if you expand and here you can see the all the activities in the integration so first you can see we are passing the name then it is started processing then received message received by the data mapper and then we can see here the mapping is completed and in the greeting message we can see the output and then message sent to reply so this is how it is working if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your circle and do subscribe our channel thank you